it came on suddenly. I mean, I was getting gradually more and more tired for a while, but I just put that down to having this virus and, and working a lot. And uh, one day uh, I went on a long drive with work and was just feeling well, I had no control of emotions and was really tired and that's when I realised there was something wrong. What have you heard about Emmy? Um, I have heard a lot about it and I've read a lot about it um, and it's all, it gets very conflicting. Um, there's an awful lot of stigma around it um, and a lot of different people having conversations about whether or not some people say it doesn't exist despite the number of people that are diagnosed with it. Yeah, I understand it the most as the term chronic fatigue syndrome um, because that explains to somebody a lot more um, than the really long words behind ME do and it's just, to me it's that having really big problems with things like fatigue um, that can really really affect somebody hugely. Uh, it's my uh, 34th birthday, about the last 10 years I've had a party in the woods uh, with a fire and uh, instruments and friends so it won't be happening this year, hopefully next year I'll be up to it but it'll be a bit too much this year. I always remember his birthday parties the most, um, he was always sort of famous for his birthday parties because he likes being outside so much, um, but his birthday's in January so he insists on it being in a forest every year and it's always completely freezing um, and we have a big campfire and all the smoke goes in your eyes and it makes you cry loads, but it's still, it's a really good day and I spend most of my winter not going outside because it's horrible out there um, and no, Mike's birthday always makes you go outside. Um, and have a nice time and just sort of you just I just remember how happy he was and how sort of frolicky he was with all of his friends being around him. I lost my job uh, a few weeks ago uh, I had it for 10 years um, I worked my way up from assistant to senior ecologist and doing a lot of um, surveys for protected species which uh, due to illness it's a bit difficult to get out and walk for miles across the countryside looking for a badger so it's quite difficult to understand because there's no physical symptoms you know you don't have a a plaster cast or a tumour or a bandage on. Um, I guess look at what the people who, who get it, who are often very busy people, used to do. I mean, I've walked from one end of Dartmoor to the other in a day on several occasions and you can barely make it to the end of the road most days now, you know. If, no, no one really gives up the life of, that I was living before, so... So, uh, ME can affect mental health because it has a really big impact on somebody and it changes somebody quite quickly from having a sort of different personality kind of thing. So, you can think that there's something wrong with you because you've developed this illness you can think that you've done something wrong or that you are lazy or you can there's lots and lots of negative thoughts that can be associated that you can develop for yourself and that can really affect your mental health and that can really make you think negatively about yourself uh, currently in uh, the a respite house, or the well-being house. Come here, uh, it's quiet. Um, and get my own little space. Um, I can speak to people if I want to, or just stay in my room. Don't have so many anxiety issues, and I can often sleep better here. Uh, it's quieter. 
and there's less people around it's usually um, because of anxiety it means that being at home can often be quite difficult because I live with uh, several other people who are usually around so I don't have those problems as bad here. into hiking uh, since I was quite young. Um, when I was at school I did uh, this big walk called Ten Tours uh, across Dartmoor. It's all year round training, did that three years in a row. For years it's just been my thing. Um, I've had friends go away camping on Exmoor or somewhere in Dartmoor go walking or just one weekend just stick a tent in the bag spare Sunday evening I go walk up Kelston Round Hill at Lansdowne um, but I miss it a lot yeah I do my thinking whilst I'm walking so yeah Mike is loads less energetic um, he has obviously got a lot less energy and it obviously affects his mental health um, it makes him think that he's done something wrong a lot of the time I think he thinks that like there's something up with him and it's you can see where it comes from if you have an illness where if you type it into Google it comes up with a bunch of people telling you that you're lazy and that you've made it up then that's gonna get to you after a while if you're thinking about that every day I think, well, for the time being, I'm looking for a uh, place of my own. Um, just a bit of quiet, weird space. I'm going to work on a bit of music. I've been keeping a journal for the last few years. A lot of the songs are based on what's written in the journal, being self employment. If I can't quite go down that route, I'm not able to. Maybe. Work, 